Hey guys, this is Mr. Oxy coming at you live from West Palm Beach, Florida. It is January the 5th of 2021, and man, there's a lot of stuff going on today. I'm sure all the uh, Occidental Petroleum uh, long investors are very, very happy, and the uh, shorts are probably crying in their wine. Uh, I mean, it's 4 p.m. right now. It's, it's probably 5 p.m. somewhere, but what the heck, uh, I wouldn't want to be short energy on a day like today. So let's take a quick look at the news and just see what's going on in the world of energy today. Okay, let's see what's going on here. So uh, we have Occidental Petroleum Corporation today, and this is at around 4 p.m. on January the 5th, up 10% for the day, trading at $19.22. Nice little uh, bounce here for um, Oxy Longs. Um, you know, uh, there's not a lot I can say about this. You know, sometimes the uh, the stocks like Oxy spikes, um, 10, even uh, greater than that, 15, 20% in one day, uh, only for it to pull back again uh, very quickly after that. So let's see how we go. But anyway, even after hours, it's up uh, a few pennies here. You can see this at the bottom of the screen over here. At, um, well, now it's pulled back a penny just as I say that. But uh, anyway, it's up by 10% for the day. So let's just see what's in the news, what's happening here today. So I'm going to oilprice.com. It's a great, reliable source for uh, information. So the first thing we can see over here is that uh, WTI uh, is pretty much at 50 bucks a barrel. Um, that is good news for, uh, for Oxy uh, and good news for uh, most of the shale drillers in the United States. Uh, so from a WTI point of view, this is good news. Uh, Brent, 53.63, up 5% uh, today, along with Oxy. Urals in uh, in Russia, uh, flat, 0%. Anyway, let's see what's happening in Russia. Well, ra rallies as Russia agrees with OPEC not to raise its output in February. So that's the reason for the good news today. So oil prices rallied on Tuesday morning following reports that Russia, the OPEC plus producer, it was insisting on a 500,000 barrel per day. Production increase in February has agreed that there would be no, that there would not be another rise in the tax production for next month. Both benchmarks were up more than 3% at 10 a.m. And of course, uh, it's now up even more. Here we can see the uh, WTI price at around 49.31. So we just saw that a minute ago, it actually ended the day at basically 50 bucks. What else is going on? The OPEC meeting, another round of drama and a stalling of talks on Monday, the Tuesday extension of the OPEC meeting concluded long last with a solution upon which the OPEC members agreed. But it didn't end the way anyone thought it would. Tuesday's meeting saw the groups agree to lift oil production by 75,000 barrel uh, thousand barrels per day over January levels. But Saudi Arabia's late announcement after the meeting sent oil prices soaring because Saudi Arabia said that it would voluntarily cut an additional 1 million barrels per day in February and March above its current quota, while all OPEC's allies got to ramp up production. OPEC agreed not only to the production levels for February, but for March as well. Of course, we know from uh, past history, these things can change as we go from month to month, but this is good news for now. With March's productions quotas already set, the February meeting therefore will set production quotas for April. Uh, we have no idea what will happen then, but we also obviously have no idea what the price will be at that point in time. The only thing that I can add is, as I have said before, uh, oil is more likely, or WTI, if I can be more specific, is more likely to be going towards $60 than back down to $40. The previous meeting held in December had adjusted the total production cuts to 7.2 million barrels per day for January from 7.7 .7 million 
barrels before. With Saudi Arabia's additional voluntary cuts, February total production cuts will be 8.125 million barrels per day, and March will be a total of 8.05 million barrels per day. The other good news, as I just mentioned, was WTI had actually topped $50 as the oil rally continued. That was uh, 2 p.m. Central Time USA. You can see the prices over here. Briefly, um, because it pulled back just a little from $50.08 back down to $49.95, Brent at $53.62, and even natural gas jumped 5% almost to $2.70 uh, per barrel on the NYMEX. So um, a lot of good news going on here for uh, energy investors, energy longs, and uh, you know it was too good for me to, uh, to just... Uh, ignore what happened today. And uh, that was the reason for this uh, very quick video. Uh, as you can tell by my, um, by my smile, it's a good day for energy. And as you know by now, I'm long a variety of different energy stocks. So um, a good day all around for us. And uh, I hope the same for you. So uh, this is my second video for 2021. And it's nice to have a good news video um, as a follow up to the previous one. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Stay well. Uh, stay long, stay strong, and uh, all of the best. This is Mr. Oxy signing off. Bye-bye.